This video was done before Boris Pitalin became famous, rich, and before yet another sex change. Today I will talk about cameras, believe it or not. Okay, of course I will not talk about cameras, you know, this is not... You know, camera reviews, vlogs, vlogs are so boring. Ugh. But what, what I will really talk about is actually about um, picking the right camera for the right job. First thing you should remember, there is no perfect camera. Secondly... Ugh. Secondly, there are many cameras out there. Such a difficult life being a vlogger. Thirdly, none of them is perfect. None of them. Not a one camera is perfect. So that's why you have to choose. But before choosing, you have to think. Sit. Polak. Sit. <coughs> For example, I'm in the middle of this vast landscape and I want to photograph it. And believe me, I have many cameras. And after very, very long consideration, I chosen this one. And you know what? This camera is nothing special. Surprise, surprise. On the end of the day, I picked this camera because of a couple of reasons. First, it's very light. Second is analog camera, so it has film. Meaning, in comparison to digital camera, it produces, um, well, there is no other word to say it, but better photographs. It's cheap, like 20 to 30 euros. If I break it, no one cares. But mostly, it has one feature that I really love, which is panorama. I wonder if you actually can see it. That's right. Okay, but let me finish this morning with my uh, Tai Chi routine and then uh, I can show you some results.
know, there's a thing with analog uh, photography. I mean, this camera looks like a toy camera, you know, it doesn't look very serious. But because it's film and because, you know, if you're shooting in the kind of good daylight, you can produce really, really good images. Something like that. Look at this print. Look at this. It's amazing. And yes, you guessed correctly, it was done with this toy camera. Actually, it's not toy camera, it's Rolle, you know. It's really, really, it's a German camera. It's just like now nobody's using it, so you can buy it for 20, maybe 30 euros. And an alternative is really good. You can sell your kidney and buy a new iPhone. Very smart. <laughs> okay, but what will I do with these photos? Actually, I have no idea. The thing is, I... I'm a wet plater, I'm an artist, and wet plate collodion process is such a slow process, it takes days, if not weeks, to make um, a couple of photos. And that, you know, that spontaneity, spontaneous, whatever. And that's why I decided to go back and to shoot something uh, easy. I will, I will just shoot 10 rolls of film and then I'll make like a small book. I know, I will not get rich, but it doesn't matter, you know, like, you know, like we professional photographers, we always have to think what will sell, you know, what people will think. You know, it's not about that, you know, love for photography is like game, you know, like it's playfulness and that's exactly what it is. You know, it's just like me experimenting and just running around with my dog and taking a picture, taking snapshots here and there. Guilty. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy uh, this vlog. I mean, you know, it's about... It's about spontaneity. Spontaneous activity. Please subscribe, like, share. Uh, thank you to my patrons who are supporting me every month with their donations. You can also check my eBay sale. These two prints are still on eBay, so if you want to buy them, you know, it will mean a uh, huge support to my work. And to these vlogs. Okay, so thank you for watching and let's do not forget, top shit does happen.